Cash for your old cell phone. That's the offer of an international e-waste company. But is the promise of an instant pay cut more enticing to criminals or consumers? Stolen phones are popping up in the company's self-serve drop-off bins across the sound. And as Matthew Smith found out, while the thieves walk off with cash, the victims are left trying to clean up the mess. It happens in a matter of seconds. Literally seconds. The FBI says a whopping 133 cell phones are stolen every minute. As we live our lives, talking, texting, tweeting, companies are making it easy to recycle our old phones to pay for the next, but some even advertise fast cash. I mean, instead of turning into more clutter in a drawer or toxic waste in a landfill, these phones are turning into cash instantly. The guts of your phone have real value. To the naked eye, it's not much, but inside your device, there's a small treasure trove of precious metals. To avoid waste, companies incentivize recycling with cold hard cash. They're incentivizing people to commit crimes. This is Lindsay. She was riding a bus when someone snatched her phone. It took hours of searching. It wasn't until the next day that her Find My Phone app led her to Cap Hill, where a homeless man told her it was likely inside that box at a nearby store, which led her here, where she reopened her Find My Phone app. I'm going to QFC and I'm looking at all my devices, 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, and then all of a sudden there's this big box machine that's like eco ATM turning cell phones for cash on the spot. Lindsay would eventually call police who would get eco ATM to remotely open the kiosk. Inside, they dug through countless phones, eventually finding her stolen device. Police in Seattle, Everett, Tacoma, and Puyallup all tell me they've dealt with eco ATM and stolen phones. One department even calling them a great partner for helping get phones back. Lindsay and other victims say the company is part of the problem. Like I said, very well masked. And what is, in my opinion, a stolen goods trafficking ring, essentially. Eco ATM says they go to great lengths to avoid buying stolen goods. They do what's called a live verification. Now, if you're selling a phone, a real person is monitoring and approving a transaction in real time, verifying that state-issued ID and getting a picture of the seller. They also use a third-party service called CheckMend. Think of it as Carfax for phones. They gather records from cell carriers, police, the FBI, and more to detect if a phone is stolen. Eco ATM says, quote, if the device does not pass CheckMen's background check, the Eco ATM kiosk will reject the transaction. So we put their safeguards to the test. I marked multiple phones as lost, then used online websites to even list them as stolen. Then I ran the devices through CheckMen to see whether my work landed on their radar. It says the legal title of an item matching your search term and category is in doubt. We recommend you do not purchase. Yet hours later, Eco ATM offered cash for that exact phone. And again, even 15 days later, meaning it wasn't an issue with the system keeping up to date. Now, it is worth noting. First, I'll check your ID. Their verification process was hard to beat. Using a different ID, masks and sunglasses, multiple attempts to trick the machine failed. If I wanted to sell that stolen phone, I was going to have to put my name and my face on camera. A deterrent, though, one criminals have clearly ignored. Old phones, all good. Cracked screen, no worries. No passcode, you can still pass go. Heck, you may even collect 200. You see, age and condition doesn't matter. But the more modern, the more money. And if you have the passcode to get in, you can grab a major payday. But even a stolen, locked phone like Lindsay's could pull a quick and easy 85 bucks. That's according to Eco ATM's own website's estimate. Eco ATM took days to respond, and once they did, they disputed our findings. Despite saying they use CheckMen to double check phones, they state that CheckMen tapped into the GSMA database and confirmed that neither device was reported as stolen. Uh, long story short, CheckMen shows it was stolen, but Eco ATM states they didn't find a police report, so they purchased the phone anyways. Victims of phone theft question whether this business model is saving anyone. While at its core, the business model isn't necessarily a bad thing, it shouldn't be built around those extreme incentives. 
that do target people. So here's where I typically tell you how to protect yourself. The issue here, there's only so much you can do. Now, I would stress that you mark your phone as lost as soon as you suspect it's stolen. If it ends up in one of these kiosks, they can't unlock it without your help. That means they will have to contact you. Though when we did it, it did take several days. We never heard back on our phones that we marked as stolen. Also, file a police report. Without one, you will not get far. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.